Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's an unfortunate truth, but if families lack the resources to send children off island for medical care, it could result in loss of life. Some of these patients just need a few thousand dollars to get off island. Unfortunately, we had a child end up dying um, even though the arrangements for care were already set up. Dr. Michael Um is a pediatrician at the Guam Memorial Hospital. He said while many families fundraise, the delay in care caused by a lack of financial resources could lead to serious consequences. A sentiment mirrored by Pediatric so, Intensive you know, right Care Unit Dr. Kozue Shumabukuru, uh, who you said she's seen cases you know, where children could have survived if only treated sooner. The data of the Guam in the pediatric mortality is actually triple of the nation, even twice of the Puerto Rico. And when it comes to infant mortality, it's actually quadrupled. So we are doing quite, quite bad when it comes to pediatric patients. They, along with program coordinator June Perez, are proposing the creation of a hospital charity fund that could help expedite care for children needing to obtain specialized care off-island. There are many uh, best practices out there to follow. Uh, this is being done in practically every hospital across the nation, and, and um, it's, I think it's way overdue for GMH. It's called the We Care Charity Fund. We, as in little right now, we, W-E-E, -E, but eventually we would like to expand it to to be able to serve the hospital overall. Paris said the creation of such a fund is allowable by public law. However, while the issue was brought before the GMH Board of Trustees for consideration, Treasurer Valentino Perez seemed hesitant at the proposal's initial language, which proposed having the GMH CEO as administrator for the fund. We don't have our financial house in order yet. Let's, I don't think we need to be taking on something new, but also because this isn't for every patient, it's not something that we should regulate considering we are a government entity. If it's gonna be a, a charity fund, I feel that it should be to an outside organization that handles things like that already. While board members agree that there is a pressing need for such a fund, they seemed hopeful that another community organization could take on the challenge while the hospital focuses on getting its finances in order. The proposal was tabled for further consideration. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.